Um, right now, the past is already past, and the future cannot be thought of. So right now, the every second is what count. What counts? So right now, uh, the reason that you cannot feel the happiness. That is because that all yourself is here, but your heart, your realization, uh, is is from is still in your past, wandering, wandering in your past. That is the real suffering. That is the real um, expectation, because you stay uh, in your past. That was your dream. So, in your dream, you never. Never realized, never became alive because you always pursue the past because your body and your spiritual life have not reached the unification of the universe and the body. Your body is the universe and your spiritual is unlimited and they are not overlapped with each other. Just for example, when you hold a finger and when you see in the front and the surroundings, then everything you will forget eventually. When the music sounds, you listen just that music, but you but you couldn't catch up the beautiful sounds of the life. When you talk, you can listen to your sayings, your complaints, but you cannot listen to the wisdoms of the people that you can listen. And then the, the feelings, the ear, the eyes, and the, the nose, although they are our best friends, but at the same time, they are the hindrance and the enemy of our inner heart. Because what you see uh, made you feel made you feel uh, different feelings, uh, negative feelings, and then the negative feelings made you had uh, uh, diff different thoughts and the difference between the delusions and the fear between life and die and the death. And we have a saying, far from the road and the emptiness is just the color. The color is the emptiness. And if you get away from it and then get happiness, that is not Buddhism. That is not what we normally do. And, and meditation makes you having the spiritual belief of peacefulness. Let me ask you, if your heart, where are your hearts? Can you find it? Can you, can you find what your hearts are? Where your hearts are? And right now you are sitting here. You can find your heart. And now, if you cannot find your heart, who are you then? Are you, can you ever be alive? Have you ever been alive? And, and, and for parents that you um, went to elementary school and you became, even became a doctor or became famous people or the world leaders and everything, have you ever lived for yourself? Never. You never lived for yourself. And if, if, if you are, have a lot of material life, even you, if you had everything, you are the object of uh, manipulation of other people and you have no control of yourself, the puppet of other people. So, what is the person with the Zen? And it's someone who is able to control himself, no matter um, whatever he sees, um, young and old, male or females, what he sees is not normally what we see. What he sees is the heart. Um, the real heart, and he can know uh, the real contrast between good and bad, and the wisdom, and, and 
that will make you to have wisdom. And the real wisdom is to have the world to appreciate the worldly world and to have people to live their own lives and to have, but to have the world life to realize the happiness of our own life and to have the people to have the people to realize the happiness of the people and to have the people happiness people uh, to realize their happiness so the most unfortunate people is to have, to have a good one for himself. And the, the wisdom of the king is to have himself for the world. I will use a saying that people, that the Chinese people have uh, we have a modern poet. I have a poem to give to you as a gift. Strangely, strangers, I wish you to have a very bright future. I also hope you to be together with your beloved. And I also wish you to have the wisdom in the worldly world, to have the happiness in the world.